The items we treasure from loved ones, um, you know, they can be particularly special. I think a lot of people, particularly with jewellery, Colleen, are you sentimental in that way? Have you got anything, pieces of jewellery from loved ones that... No, the things that are sentimental for me, obviously, I've got pictures, loads of pictures with me and Bernie, so that's sentiment. I've pictures with my mum and dad, but the sentiment for me is in my heart. I don't need something to remind me of her. And also, if I had a piece of my mum, my dad, my sister, you know, if I had any of their jewellery, the trauma for me would be if I lost it. If I lost it, I'd just... It'd be like losing them all over again, so I'm a bit... I don't, I don't want that. Um, and I've also, you know, I've experienced people who fall out massively, like families that are split because they've argued over who's going to keep that piece of jewellery or who's going to keep that painting, and then they end up never speaking again. Or they just can't let things go, and I think that can be more damaging because it, by letting something go doesn't mean that you've forgotten that person. Yeah. That person will always be there. You know, Bernie will always be in my heart and always in my thoughts. I don't need to look at something to be reminded of that. And I don't like sometimes the damage that can do within families, especially, mm -hmm. like, you know, I've got a massive family. Um, but it's happened to a friend of mine, you know, who, who lost her mum a few years ago, and she, and she can't let even any single thing in that house be moved, touched, is still there. Like a and she's almost, yeah. Yeah, and she's frantic about it. Like, if she goes around and a cop's mm. missing, she goes insane, you know, and I'm like, you have to... Let that go. go. Your mum's always with you. It's, she's not in things. Mm. She's, she's just with you. Well, it's my it. mother is represented by something I took from her house <laughs> when she died and was previously in my Welsh granny's house, and it's a china cat with toothache. <laughs> it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> I mean, oh, have you got that Janet, display? will you leave that to me? I'd love yes, that. Yes, I'll happily pass it on to Colleen <laughs> because I have got uh, four wedding rings, three engagement rings. <laughs> and, and a pear tree. tree. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I have got a pear tree. Um, but uh, things that I treasure, I have got my dad's cardigan and if I'm yeah. feeling a bit miserable, I wear that. Do you? Oh, yeah. that's nice. It's, nice. it's funny, though, James, there are certain things within your family families that you sometimes sit in the house and go, oh, please God, don't please <laughs> That's don't my that way. <laughs> that might be coming my way. And you know that you'll never get rid of it. You might not display it. You know, there's certain things that my mum had from her mum that are just in the loft. Yeah. If you just go, I can't get rid of it, because it is sentimental, but you just think, please don't yeah. give that to me. Oh, I'm she not has. particularly sentimental like that either, to be honest. I mean, a very, very good friend of mine, when she was dying, she knew she was dying. And it sounds really bizarre, but one of the most magical times I ever spent with her, she asked me to write her will and also the plan for her funeral and everything. She chose everything, the music, the guests, whatever, who was readings. Um, and we sat down and did her will. And she just said, so she had this very close-knit uh, group of girlfriends, and she said, I want them all to come round and they, do, they can just choose something. And, and she sort of lay there and she said, oh, you know, so-and-so used to come in and always said to the... Uh, pointed out this vase in the hallway, I want her to have that vase. I chose a picture. And that's all you need, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's just one thing and it's given with meaning and it has value in its meaning rather than in its... How its much value, it's, yeah. How much it's worth, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's true what Colin said. It's, it's very sad, isn't it, when people mm. do fall out over things like that. Um, so let us know what you think about that. Have you got treasured items that you would never part with or do you not that sentimental? Because uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, also today, a new survey has estimated that we hold about a billion pounds in loyalty card points. So that's about £19 pounds for every adult. So every one of you in here might be worth £19 pounds in loyalty wow. points. Do you check them? Do you check your loyalty? <laughs> Hands up if you check your loyalty cards for points. A few. A few, not many. I don't, I don't do that. Um, only one in five of us, apparently, check our loyalty points weekly, and one in ten have never checked how much their points worth. I just wait for those little vouchers to come through. Mm. I love a loyalty card. Love when it. we talked about this, Jane went scuttling off to the dressing <laughs> room. Look at this. She's like... Loads <laughs> of them, loads, loads of, them. of money. Now, this one, I think, is actually a collector's item, my nectar card. Yeah. This goes back to the days before electricity. Yes. <laughs> um, and it still gathers points, but I can't spend them. 
So I, I but there's something wrong with the card, oh. and they keep saying you've got to renew your card. All the points are on there. So I think that's probably worth a million pounds. I think that's probably worth quite a hefty. And we've chunk got of... matching boots loyalty cards, which, also we, which are eight. very, very. They've ancient. been so boasting about their boots. Very cards. old. <laughs> this was the first loyalty I've card. I've aged them. I just don't know where it is. Yeah, I love this one. Get yep. good points on your. Yeah, this is very card. good. Oh, my favourite is yeah. my Tesco's point yes. card. Yeah, because that. you can see that, that happening. Matcher. Yes. So as you as they scan it, money comes off, yeah. even if it's fifty. I'm drunk. Look, my lord. Yeah, yours is posh. Look. You look, I've got, got so many I've cards. Got you never get the poker. I've got a special credit card holder because I don't use credit cards. So I only use debit cards in one thing, and then I've got a special holder for all my loyalty cards. Got Tesco, Marks and Spencers, <laughs> Nectar, <laughs> Co-op. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? They, I the... love it when they when you yeah, see the Yeah, but they the are. Some home. of them are a bit. It's like loyalty points. You know, you buy twenty-seven coffees, we'll give you half a cup free. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, and then, the, what What's about the, the other thing? All these stores say they're saving the environment, blah blah blah, and then you get to the checkout. Especially, I think Sainsbury's is one of the worst offenders. Vouchers are spewing yeah. at you. Paper coming out. All these vouchers, like, you know, 10p off if you buy 5,000 uh, radishes or something. <laughs> oh, they're not likely to be buying at the team, moment. Our production team were all much younger than us. We were laughing at us this morning because they have everything on their phone. And they're phone. like, they're, they're they're like, like the dinosaurs. Like, no, yeah. carrying cards. I think around. all of my loyalty cards are older than our entire production <laughs> team put together. <laughs> I know that Tesco's brought out really small ones you could put on a key ring. Well, yes, I've got that. I lost that straight away. I, like, I put it on my key I ring. Little... I've got it all on my phone. See, I'm so much younger than all of you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm down with. I'm going to have to get someone to show me how to put them on my phone.